welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a fun book tonight because we're going back to visit one of our new friends. Do you remember when Miss Dorothy read you this book about pout pout fish? The fish that thought he had to pout all the time with his poochy lip until somebody gave him a smooch and he realized, hey, I don't have to pout. I don't have to spread glum. I can and spread cheer. Well, I found another book about Pout Pout Fish, and this one is called Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Dark. Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Dark. This is a story about Pout Pout Fish who tries to help Mrs. Clam find her pearl, but he keeps having to go deeper and deeper, and it gets darker and darker, and he's afraid of the dark. I wonder if he gets brave enough to do the job. We're gonna have to open this book and find out. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy and find out what happens to Pout Pout Fish in the dark? Good, I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Pout Pout Fish in the Big, Big Dark. Written by Deborah Deason, pictures by Dan Hanna. A doozy of a drowsy made Mrs. Clam yawn. Oh, then a big current whooshed and her pearl was gone. Oh no, Mrs. Clam opened her mouth to yawn and her pearl fell out. Mr. Fish swam forth. Miss Clam, don't weep. I will find your pearl. That's a promise I'll keep. He swooped through the water, swishing close to the sand, and he eyed every inch of the busy bottom land. Pout Pout Fish came along and told Mrs. Clam, It's okay, I'll take care of it. I'll find it. He found a mucky marble where he thought the pearl might be. Then a hidden voice whispered, It's further out to sea. He's finding things but not the pearl. And somebody tells him he needs to go further. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer and his heart flit fluttered. Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm smart as a dolphin. I'm strong as a shark. But I'm scared of the dark. Mr. Fish is trying to help, but he's a little worried because he's afraid of the dark. He kept on searching along the ocean floor, through a reef, through a wreck, swimming far from the shore. Oh, he's going out so far. Mr. Fish felt a pout-pout poach on his hope. Then the whisper from before said, It's down beyond the slope. Uh-oh, he's got to go down deeper. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer, and his heart flit fluttered. Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm as fast as a sailfish. I'm smart as a dolphin. I'm strong as a shark. But I'm scared of the dark. A whirl of wiggly worms made a search team swirl. And they helped with the hunt from the yawn girl on Pearl. But nothing was discovered. Mr. Fish felt despair. Then the soft voice whispered, In the trench, check there. He has to go down deeper. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer and his heart flit fluttered. Mr. Fish grew grimmer. Oh no, he's having all kinds of terrible imaginations about what's down in the dark. I'm as fast as a sailfish. I'm smart as a dolphin. I'm strong as a shark. But I'm scared of the dark. He's going down, but he's so afraid. <gasps> it's so dark. I won't keep swimming in this heap deep black. I know I made a, made a promise, but this fish is heading back. Then a whisper now familiar whisked away his tread. You can do it, Mr. Fish, her sweet voice said. Though there wasn't any light, not the smallest slim glimmer, Mr. Fish felt braver. Cheered on by Miss Shimmer. Two are faster than a sailfish. Two are smarter than a dolphin. Two are stronger than a shark. Two are bigger than the dark. Oh good, 
Miss Shimmer came along to help. So they swam down together, holding fin to fin, when suddenly, amazingly, light shone in. Mr. Fish said, Yes! Miss Shimmer shouted, Yay! There's Miss Clam's pearl! Hooray! Hooray! Look, there it is, right at the bottom. They smooched Mr. Lantern, who lit the way. Then they smiled as they swam, weaving back through the water to a happy Miss Clam. They're bringing back her pearl. The whole gang gathered, feeling glorious and proud, and they swam in a circle, and they sang out loud. The ocean is wide and the ocean is deep, but friends help friends. That's a promise we keep. We are bigger, yes, bigger, always big, big, bigger. See, they get bigger when they help each other. And they are bigger than the dark. Yay! Pow Pow and his friends worked together. They got over their fear of the dark and they found the pearl for Miss Clam. That was a good book. I'm really happy that they realized that they're bigger than the dark, that there's nothing to be afraid of just because it's dark. And then I love how everybody worked together, how the lantern fish lit up the way and they didn't have anything to be afraid of. This was a fun book. I love when we visit with Pow Pow fish. Miss Dorothy's going to have to go see if there's more Pout Pout Fish books. Do you know of any? If you have a favorite, let me know. I'll go find it. I'll read it for you. And I'll also go to the library and see if I can find any myself. Because Pout Pout seems like a pretty good fish. And I like reading about him. I really liked how they overcame their fear and realized that the dark was nothing to be afraid of. That's a lesson we all need to learn about fear. Remember, the Bible tells us that we don't have to fear because God is watching over us. And we can fear not. That's what the Bible says. Remember, fear not. And always remember that even in the dark, God is right there watching over you. And so are your mom and dad. And tonight, I need you to get under your covers, swim in like a little fish, get all cuddled up, curled up, ready for a good night's sleep. Give your mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses and let them know that you feel safe because they are there and God's watching over you. That would be a good thing to tell them tonight. And another th good thing to do... Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here waiting to read a book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.